This is Jarosław Adamowski with Defense News. I'm here today at the DSEI show in London with uh, Scott Mill from General Dynamics Land Systems UK. And we are here to talk about the new Ajax variant, the IFV version of the vehicle, and what it brings to the table in terms of new features and capabilities. Scott, could you please tell me what are the main features of the Ajax IFV version? Okay, absolutely. So Ajax IFV is the uh, is a missing variant from the Ajax family. So we've we've delivered 147 vehicles of the of Ajax into the British Army, uh, and now we're looking to the future. And uh, we've developed the Ajax IFV, which is what we're looking at today. So the Ajax IFV, it's uh, the main the main changes and the improvement uh, 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 different features compared to the current family. Is the IFV is, uh, is, is designed around the, the crew, the dismounts. So the vehicle can accommodate eight dismounts uh, with, a, with a crew of three. So that's a driver, a commander, and a gunner. We've changed the rear door to enable a, it's a ramp door to enable easy ingress and egress from the vehicle. And we've uh, integrated a remote turret. So it's a turret from Lockheed Martin, which is based on the current Ajax turret design. It's a repackaging of existing and proven mature LRUs. To, to enable rapid development to get to production ready capability. So the turret system uh, includes, integrates the CT40 cannon system, the case telescope ammunition from, uh, from BA Systems and Nexa, or KNDS. And uh, the, uh, we have integrated also a modular integrated protection system, so from the, from the, the being developed in the UK, which is the uh, Iron Fist Effector and the Trophy Sensor. Uh, we've taken the latest generation of uh, sighting system from Talus, got a panoramic sight, which gives us full 360 degree capability, similar to what the current Ajax has, but it's a more modern sensor uh, TI. We're leveraging the electronic architecture from the existing Ajax design. So Ajax is the most digitally advanced armored flight vehicle in the world today, and we've leveraged that into the areas at Ajax IFB. Uh, the only difference you'll see when you look inside is that the gunner and commander are located in the, in the hull rather than the turret, but we're reusing the same, the same equipment. Uh, the, the benefits of Ajax are ported across without any, any change to the development of the vehicle. So the, the survivability solution, of which we've mind blast tested Ajax many times, and in every blast, the soldier has survived, or the uh, t uh, instrumented test dummy has survived. Um, that, survive, that survivability solution is, is, is ported across to this, this design. So yesterday was the, uh, was the unveiling, and we've had uh, huge interest from, from export customers and, uh, and uh, domestic also. So uh, it's something that I look forward to, to bringing to the market, uh, built here in South Wales in uh, our factory in Merthyr Tidville. You mentioned that there are different export markets that you are uh, exploring. Could you say a few? Uh, could you give a few examples of the potential foreign destinations in which you are interested, countries in Europe and beyond? So I think there's a there's a quite an addressable market for the infantry fighter vehicle is, is quite significant today. Uh, for example, Poland is a is a customer we're very interested in growing and are continuing a relationship with and that's a, an area we're active in uh, to, to other other regions uh, Estonia we have Ascod already in Latvia so it's uh, yeah it's a it's a buoying market and uh, in terms of uh, survivability which is very important for defense ministries uh, across Europe are you also planning to continue to work on improving the capabilities of uh, this uh, variant, uh, basing this on the experiences of uh, militaries in conflicts in uh, different parts of the world, including the war in Ukraine? Uh, ab absolutely. So the, the Ajax design is, uh, has, has got growth designed in from the start. And it, it was always, always acutely aware that the, 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 the threat is, uh, is ever-changing. So the, the armor design, the armor system is uh, fully modular in design. So as the threat changes, we can change the armor without changing the base architecture of the vehicle. Um, obviously, we're focusing on the active protection systems as the as the current uh, step. But the change in the the passive protection system is 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 easy to do with the Ajax vehicle architecture. Thank you very much, Scott. Okay, thank you.